work now. Welcome back to the channel, guys. So uh, we're gonna be working on the truck again. It's been about two weeks since we've worked on it. I got uh, two starters in the truck. Uh, one of the solenoids on the starter is not, not working right, but if I have to, I could switch it from this solenoid because this solenoid on the truck is working. Uh, so we're gonna throw those uh, starters in, or a starter, to see if it'll work. Uh, the reason why we're just doing a starter is because I can't lift the cab to get to the front of the engine and you can't get to the front of the harmonic balancer to turn it over because there's a cross member in there. And uh, I can try on the transmission through the inspection hall but it's really tight under there so it's easier to just throw another starter in. So that's what we're going to do today and uh, we'll see if we can get it turned over. All right, you guys, there's the bolt for the starter. Alright guys, so I took off the ground to the frame and I took off uh, the um, clamps that hold held the wires to the um, to the uh, to the frame that goes to the batteries. So let's pull this up here. Let's see if I can get my hand in there that bolt down. Mm -mm. wrapped around a cable The spacer plate off of here. <laughs> here it goes. Alright guys, so this is the starter I'm putting in. 
already got it wired up um, tested it and here's the old one I just wanted to show you guys some of these cable ends I mean they're bad uh, they were making contact but they're just rusted out the bolts almost rusted out so because I was get I was checking voltage I was getting voltage through these wires um, to the starter but the, the solenoid was working but the actual starter part isn't and I can't seem to turn the shaft either uh, it turns this a little bit so I think it's gummed up or something but we're gonna throw this one in and try it out alright guys I got my strap hooked up to the starter and I'm gonna go back up there pull the starter up yeah, into place and then uh, we'll try and put some bolts through it I gotta get this spacer plate back on here all right guys so we got that let me see if I can make some room for you so you can see There's the starter. Okay. I got it in place. Now I just have to put a bolt in. So I'm just gonna screw this one in lightly. And then uh, I'm gonna do the bottom ones cause those are easier to, to take in and out. In here, get that bolt in there. Okay, we may have a problem. didn't even check it. I think my bolt holes are too small. Shoot. Oh, Alright guys, so uh, I put the starter up in there but the bolt holes to hold it together are too big, or these are too small. Uh, and now that I pulled it back out, I'm looking at the gear, and the gear looks to be a little larger than this one. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and take all the cables off this one, and take them off mine, put them on this one, and pull these plugs out, uh, and try and lube this one up, uh, to see if I can get it to spin freely. Um, I didn't know this, but on I seen on um, Not For Hire channel, he's doing a cab over and he took these plugs out and lubed it up. So that's what I'm gonna do. And we're going to see if that works. I'll leave that plug out now.
All right, guys. So I've been just lubing it up through the ports. There are three of them. And I finally got the starter to start moving. I worked it back and forth for a pair of pliers. And it's starting to work now. So it's working pretty good. So uh, I'm going to disconnect it here. We're going to put it back into the truck. And see what we can uh, see if we can get it started. Alright guys, so we got the batteries back in here. We got the starter in, the original starter. Uh, it's the moment of truth if we're gonna get it started or not. Here we go. So I would say the engine's probably locked up. Uh, it's wanting to go, but it's not wanting to turn over. So, next step is, I guess you, we're going to have to try and get it into, uh, let's see, it should be in neutral already, because the guy moved it. Um, and he put it in neutral before he moved it. Alright. So I drained all the oil in the trans. And, uh, well, there was barely any in there. It was mostly water. But, um, I took the shifter selector off of there. And I'm just going to put this back on there. I poured some old used oil back in there. Hopefully, um, we'll try and kind of keep the water out of it and let all that oil lube everything up. Maybe able to work the transmission next time or something. But we'll see. I should have really grabbed a ratchet. This is taking forever. Well, we'll see if that works. Uh, or try and we'll try and keep the water out of it. Uh, I'm gonna have to. So I tried to. Let me get. Let me get you guys set up here. So I tried to go underneath with a crowbar and turn the uh, flywheel over, but it's just it's it's like this big, and I can't get my crowbar in there. Um, we're gonna have to get the cab up next time uh, if we come back out here and. Uh, see if we can turn the engine over from the front of the from the front end because it's just not wanting to go it's probably stuck from just sitting so many years um, it does the, the engine doesn't have any water in it uh, I checked the oil and it doesn't have any in it but it's probably just the the rings are probably stuck inside the cylinders um, it's not wanting to go so it's engaging but it just doesn't want to go all the way. So we'll call this it for today. Um, and we'll have to come back and figure out a plan. The cab doesn't um, go up with the, uh, I guess it's like a little pump jack. Um, it doesn't It doesn't go up on that. It just, it's leaking out of the cylinder part where you jack it up with. And so we're gonna have to either pull a truck in front of the cab and like throw a strap all the way around it and pull it forward or something. Um, but it just, it's really heavy so we'll have to figure out what we're gonna do. But for that's it for today guys. Um, I was surprised I was able to get that starter to work. Um, but thanks for watching. Um, all right, so uh, thanks for all the subscribers who subscribed to the last uh, the uh, or la the, the few week that I the few weeks I've, that I put that video out. Um, thank you for all the comments, the views. Uh, just blown away uh, with how many we received, and I really appreciate it, you guys. Uh, 
just keep on if you could just keep on subscribing and uh, watching the videos and liking them uh, really helps us out a lot um, I wasn't planning on coming back out here but I'd seen so many view I've seen that so many people were watching it and uh, just thought well heck we might as well um, I guess you guys enjoyed it so uh, we came back out but uh, we'll uh, see what we can do uh, if we're gonna come back out next time see what we can do see if we can lift, lift this cab up and see if we can turn it over just by the harmonic balancer or the, the front crank um, pulley or I was told that there's another area you can turn these engines over with um, I think it's a Cummins 335 but I'm not 100% sure I can't get to the front tag uh, to really verify that it looks like it it is one but Thanks for watching you guys. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Thank you.